Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on finding the radius of a sector given its area and angle. Now remember a sector is just like a pizza slice, it's like a slice of a full circle. And we're told in this case that the area is 100 centimetres squared, so that's the full area of this sector. And we want to determine the radius, let's just call this R for radius. Now, do you remember there was a formula for working out the area of the sector? We saw that in a previous video, and the area of the sector was this. We start with the area of a full circle, so pi r squared, and then we find the appropriate fraction of it. So, whatever the angle was here, let's call it theta, we do that angle over 360. So, it's, so if I just draw it here, if we have the radius here, and an angle theta here, we want theta 3 sixtieths of a full circle. So for example, if that angle was 90, we'd have 90 3 sixtieths, which is a quarter of a circle. And then we find that fraction of the full circle area. So let's use that formula to solve this problem. Well, we know the area of the sector is 100, so let's substitute that in as 100 equals Theta over 360, well we know the theta here is that angle at the centre of the circle, 41. And we're timesing it by pi times the radius squared, which we don't yet know. So we've got this equation now we want to solve. That means we need to find the value of r. Now what I could do first is get rid of this times by 41 three sixtieths. So if I divide the 100 by 41 three sixtieths, be careful how you type it into your calculator. So we're dividing both sides by 41 3 sixtieths. So the left hand side is now 878.049. And dividing by the 41 over 360 gets rid of that. We're just left with the pi r squared. Now, if you think about it, r is being squared, then it's been multiplied by pi. We want to get rid of that times by pi, so we're going to divide both sides by pi. Do not, at this stage, square root both sides, because r is first squared, then you multiply by pi. So we want to undo the last thing we did of multiplying by pi by dividing by pi. So our current value, we can just use the answer key, we divide that by pi, and that gives us 279. 0.492 and dividing this by pi just gets rid of that times by pi leaving r squared now at this point r is being squared how do we get rid of that squared the opposite is square rooting so we square root both sides so we square root and press the answer key that gives you 16.7 and that is r the radius now let's just give the unit well if that was centimeters squared this is going to be centimetres, and that is the final answer.